Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise in opposition to H.R. 21. A top U.S. security priority must be energy independence in perpetuity. We know high oil prices hit working families hard. Last year, the Biden administration rightly released oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and oil prices dropped $1.69 a gallon in my area. Unfortunately, the bill we had debated adds layers of bureaucracy, four agencies and departments thick, limiting our progress to stabilize prices. America must have an all-of-the-above energy profile, but here yet is another handout to big oil. It forces the leasing of additional lands to oil companies, while vast amounts of current federally leased land sites are already going unused. Leasing land is not the same as production. H.R. 21 would hamstring our ability to protect people and companies from spiking gasoline prices. I fought hard to save the Strategic Petroleum Reserve when others here have tried to decommission it. American energy security means national independence. We should settle for no less. Thank you, and I yield back. Hello, friends. My friends, I have important news to share with you today. You do not want to miss out on new tax breaks that will help increase your tax refund checks this year. It is almost time for millions of Americans to receive thousands of dollars in financial aid from the government, and many low-income households do qualify for as much as $1,000 in extra relief cash. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these new details. Also, to say thank you and for being part of this community, I will be giving away two Walmart gift cards this coming Friday. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My dear friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. While buying a home might be the traditional American dream, it also comes with a lot of costs. Not only your mortgage, interest, and property taxes, but also maintenance and upkeep. Luckily for some homeowners, the tax season provides an excellent chance to get some of that money back in the form of tax credits or deductions that can lead to a bigger tax refund. Most homeowners with mortgages know they can deduct payments towards their loan interests, but many tax deductions and tax credits involved in owning a home are less known. Most income tax breaks for homeowners are tax deductions, which are reductions in your taxable income. The less of your income that is taxed, the less money you pay in taxes. Mortgage interest or the amount of interest that you pay on your home loan yearly is one of the most common tax deductions for homeowners. It is also often the most lucrative, especially for new homeowners whose payments generally go more towards loan interest during the first years of a mortgage. Homeowners filing taxes jointly can deduct all payments for mortgage interest on loans up to $1 million or loans up to $750,000 if made after December 15, 2017. Single filers get half of those amounts. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy recently announced during his State of the State speech that New Jersey will extend the deadline to apply for property tax relief through the state's new anchor program. Renters and homeowners in the state of New Jersey will now have until February 28, 2023 to apply for this rebate. The state of New Jersey had previously extended the deadline from December 30th to January 31st, 2023. Governor Phil Murphy and his fellow Democrats, who lead the state legislature, unveiled the $2 billion anchor program last year, saying it will provide residents of New Jersey help in the face of the nation's highest property taxes. About 2 million New Jersey homeowners and renters are expected to benefit from this program which was included in the $50.6 billion state budget that Governor Murphy signed last year. And so far, according to the numbers from Governor Murphy's office, about 1.2 million New Jersey households have applied, 1 million homeowners and 228,000 tenants. This is money going right back into the pockets of roughly 2 million New Jersey middle-class and working homeowners, seniors, 
and tenants. Under this program, homeowners making up to $150,000 a year will receive $1,500 in rebates on their property tax bills. And those making $150,000 to $250,000 annually will receive $1,000 in rebates. Renters making up to $150,000 a year will receive $450 to help offset rent increases associated with property taxes. So these all apply to primary residences only. The average property tax bill in the state of New Jersey in 2022 was $9,284. Governor Murphy and other Democrats who have repeatedly vowed to make the state more affordable since a tough 2021 election season have touted the program as historic. Republicans have countered it is a gimmick and more direct relief is needed. The state assembly minority leader said that the residents are still waiting to receive anchor checks when the money should have been doled out throughout the application process as people face high inflation and high energy costs. Checks or direct deposits will be going out in late spring of this year, regardless of when taxpayers file. And the payments are not subject to federal or state income tax. A new report found that the median monthly rent in the United States dipped below $2,000 last month, but remains very high compared with just two years ago. The median market rent decreased to $1,978 in December 2022. That is a 1.41% drop from November and the lowest median rent since April of last year. Year over year, rents grew 4.77%. That is the lowest annual change since July 2021. But December's reduced rent remains high after rental prices registered double-digit percentage increases for 11 straight months through September of last year. In December, renters were still paying $329 more per month versus December 2020, with many markets still seeing double-digit percentage increases. While the national rent slowed year over year, rents actually contracted in 10 U.S. states in December with four Western states leading the pack. So friends, please let me know if you are renting, if your rent has increased. Please leave those comments in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Saturday. My friends, I want to say thank you so much to all of you who are joining me here daily and for being part of this community. To say thank you, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards every Friday. So if you'd like to enter this coming Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you, friends, and have a very blessed and wonderful weekend.